Greetings internet, it's Monica and this is the start of a new seasonal darlings video. I am so excited, I always love sharing what I have been loving with you all. If you're unfamiliar, my darlings videos are basically my take on the classic YouTube favorites video. I just like to call it my darlings because I think it's cuter. <laughs> And I also wanted to test out this new format of kind of doing it vlog style and taking you around my space to show you each of the things I have been loving like in their natural habitat, <laughs> if that makes sense. So I'm excited to try out this new style and just see how it goes. So I'm going to kick things off with fashion and I'm really excited because I'm actually getting to partner with one of my favorite jewelry brands, Ana Luisa, for this video. I love Ana Luisa because their jewelry is really high quality at a really fair price while still being sustainable. They actually achieved carbon neutrality this year and they're hoping to continue that from now on, which I think is amazing. So I have a few Few pieces that they sent to me. The first one is this ring that I've been wearing non-stop. So this is a gold rope ring and I love it because I think it's super classic looking but it's also it has this boldness to it and this fun element. I feel like it can go with absolutely everything that I wear. So I've been wearing it basically every single day. One of the things that I love about Ana Luisa is that they have a wide range of ring sizes, which can be really hard to find. Like they go up to a size 10. Often jewelry brands tend to like go up to a size 7 or 8 and that's it. So I was really excited to see that they actually go up to a size 10 because that makes them much more inclusive, which I think is amazing. I also got these earrings absolutely love these because they're so delicate and whimsical looking. I love the moon with the gems dangling below them and the fact that they're these really soft pastel colors. They're just such lovely earrings that I love getting to wear. They give me such Sailor Moon vibes and then this heart and key lock necklace that I think is so precious and dainty. I love it so much. I love this necklace for a variety of reasons. First, the design is amazing. I think it's so romantic and delicate, but I also love that each sale of this necklace gives Gives back to the Korea Cyber Sexual Violence Response Center. I think that's just amazing. So yeah, I adore each of these pieces. I've been wearing them nonstop and they're so comfortable and beautiful and yeah, I just adore them. So thank you to Anna Luisa for partnering with me for this video and now continuing on with some more fashion faves. So another fave is this current sweatsuit that I am wearing. This is from American Eagle and I love it because it's this light blue tie-dye, but it kind of looks like clouds. I don't know, I love a cloud. I feel like if you follow me, <laughs> anywhere you know that I just I love a good cloud I think they're so pretty so I love that this just looks like I'm covered in clouds I will say I got this in a 2x and I could have definitely sized down but I also like that it's really oversized because it's just super comfy and it's so soft so if you're looking for a good sweatsuit right now this one is great. Another thing that I have definitely been loving, and this is a bit of a splurge, is definitely this dress here. So this is the puff dress from the brand Selkie, and I've worn it a few times on my Instagram, so I'll put some photos, but I love this dress so much. If you are in the market for a nice dress for something, not that anyone should be going to events, but if you are in the market for a nice dress, that one is definitely a favorite. It's so like flattering and I don't usually like that word but it's just like because it is like this baby doll fit it just I don't know I just love it. I love the way it looks on me. I love the way it makes me feel. I love how short it is. It's so cute. It's amazing. So now I'm gonna bring you over to my makeup station. I have been loving quite a few things. First obviously the hair. It's different. I am back to my natural color. I haven't really talked about this at all on here but I have a whole Instagram like essay where I talk about why my hair is brown again and my feelings on it which are much more complicated than I thought they were going to be, but honestly, I have been loving being brunette lately. I, I just have found it to be so fun and just to experiment with new ways of styling my hair and clothes with my hair has just been, I don't know, a new adventure for me. And obviously, I still am wearing and loving wigs, so, you know, I can still have peach hair when I want peach hair, but I have been loving, um, 
just playing with my brown hair and having brown hair. I feel like sometimes my bangs look cute and sometimes they don't, but whatever. So some beauty favorites for me. The first one is this little dinky dude. This is from Milk Makeup. It is one of their blushes. This was actually the Sephora Beauty present for 2020. So if you have a birthday this year, you could still get this. It's just such a beautiful, like, glow, like natural glow. So I just like rub it on my face and then I tap it in. Another face favorite has been this Fenty Beauty Matchstick in Amber. It is the perfect contour color if you are paler. I have really struggled with finding a contour color that doesn't look like too orange or too ashy on me like and but this one is perfect i really just use this on my nose so i just do that and then i blend it in and with i do everything with my fingers basically it's subtle but it's enough and it's really easy to blend if you're new to contour like i am like i am not good at contour so i think that's really easy and that's all i really do as far as contour is concerned i don't really do a lot more. I've also been loving this from Ofra Cosmetics. This is their highlighter in Pillow Talk. This was sent to me unsure when I became a beauty guru, <laughs> but you know what? I'll take it. Um, yeah, so I've been obsessed with this stuff. It's, it's like the most amazing highlighter. It's so intense, um, and I feel like it's not going to show up great because I'm right in front of sunlight right now, uh, but it's so pretty like I get it. I get the hype. I get why Nikki tutorials loves Ofra cosmetics This stuff is no joke So I just did a really quick makeup look using my favorite Sailor Moon palette I just used the two purple colors and I love this palette. It's amazing. I use it almost daily um, Now I'm gonna be doing my eyelashes. I have been obsessed with these magnetic lashes I watched this YouTube video of this girl who did a comparison of like all of them and she compared like the Amazon cheap ones to like the really expensive like glamnetic ones and she said that this set was like a duplicate basically for glamnetic like the eyeliner was the same the lashes were different but like really what matters is the eyeliner if that's the same she said the eyeliner was really similar and I'm really glad that I bought this one instead because the glamnetic one is like three times the price it's like 70 some dollars you get one pair of eyelashes and I think one eyeliner. In this kit you get five pairs of eyelashes, two eyeliners, and a little applicator tool. So I've been really loving this um, and just experimenting with it. I will say that it definitely has a little bit of a learning curve. It's just a lot thicker than a normal eyeliner is because of like the magnetic particles in it. Uh, so there's definitely a little bit of a learning curve, but I do actually really like it a lot more than glue lashes. I feel like they last a lot longer um, and I like the way they feel. Um, it is also like, I will also say that if you're gonna be using these, you have to have an oil cleanser. Like it's the only way you're gonna actually get this eyeliner off your, off your skin. Um, so today I think I'm gonna go for a more dramatic lash look. Uh, so I'm gonna do these babies and but like once you master the art of the actual eyeliner putting these on is so easy Like that's it. I know some people are really good at like lash glue and stuff and if you are amazing continue doing that don't change for this but if you struggle with like the lash glue process then you might want to try these because i just think they're so amazing and easy and i really like the lashes too that come with it so i have changed into a another new favorite for me i guess this one's also a fashion favorite but really it's a music favorite so the fashion part is taylor swift's cardigan inspired by her song and music video for cardigan and i love it so much it's so cozy and cute i feel like it's the perfect autumnal vibes i was so elated when i saw that it had finally shipped because shipping definitely took a while uh but yeah i love it so much it's so cute i love the star patches i just think it's adorable so this is a total favorite but it's really a music favorite because taylor swift's folklore album 
has honestly just been everything to me this past summer it's not really a summer vibes album but i feel like it's a summer 2020 vibes album you know so i've been listening to it non-stop i just love it i think it's so whimsical and fresh and my favorite songs on it are probably The One and Cardigan, of course, and Betty. My friend Kirsten actually just published a cover of Betty in which she rewrote the lyrics from Betty's perspective and turned it into like a queer interpretation of the song from like as though Betty and James are two girls. And I I love it. It's amazing. I'll link it down below in case you want to listen. My other music favorite is obviously BTS's Dynamite. It's such a good song. I'm so excited for them that they hit the Hot 100, the number one spot, two weeks in a row. And yeah, I just, I love the song. It's such a good song. I've been listening to it non-stop. The music video too is just so bright and fun and effervescent and just everything I feel like I needed when it came out. So I've been loving that one. It has not gotten old at all. I feel like all I've listened to is Taylor Swift's Folklore and Dynamite on repeat and it's honestly been great. So now to talk about some bookish faves. I think my favorite book from this past summer is without a doubt Kim Ji Young, Born 1982. Kim Ji Young is a fictional novel translated from Korean and it follows Kim Ji Young, who is a Korean woman in her 30s, and you follow her from when she was born into adulthood. Her name is actually one of the most popular names for women in Korea, so through hearing her story, you're also hearing the story of every woman in Korea as they deal with everyday sexism and misogyny through every part of their life, from their life at home, to with friends, to at work. And I loved this book so much. I feel like even though this is just a pure character study, it was so compelling. I couldn't put it down. I read it in one sitting. I page flagged the heck out of it because there were so many amazing moments throughout it that I just wanted to remember and annotate. So I absolutely adore this book. I highly recommend it. I will especially recommend it to those of you who are Korean because for me it gave me so much context for even things that I've noticed in my own family, so that's amazing. But even if you're not, I highly recommend this book. It's such a brilliant work of fiction uh, that I, I definitely think everyone should pick up and read. Now I want to talk about some things that I have been watching and loving. So the first one is on Netflix, and it is Haikyuu, which is just so good. <laughs> I honestly never in a million years thought I would get into a volleyball sports anime. Like, Yuri on Ice was different because I love figure skating. But volleyball? I don't care <laughs> about volleyball. Uh, but I do now. Boy, do I care about volleyball now. Uh, yeah, I've been loving Haikyuu. I think it's just so fun. I love the mixture of, like, having this you know these characters that you all root for and you fall in love with and you just want to see succeed but also like i get really into the sports part like i am really rooting for these teams and i'm invested in their journeys so who knew that that would happen in 2020 but i have just been loving haikyuu it's so much fun if you haven't watched it i highly recommend giving it a shot it's just an all-around good pleasant time. Another favorite that I've been watching recently has been Inuyasha, which is a rewatch for me. I loved Inuyasha as a kid and I had such a crush on Inuyasha. <laughs> Still maybe do apparently, but yeah, I love it so much. It's so much fun and a bit darker than I remembered it being, to be honest. Still in season one, so I'm definitely taking it a little bit slower. Uh, than I would maybe like, but I had a lot of stuff going on, okay? <laughs> but I'm definitely hoping to pick that back up now that my room is done and I can actually have, like, do fun, chill things again. But yeah, I love, I've been loving Inuyasha, obviously, been loving Haikyuu. Another show I've been loving is Island, which is a reality show put on by Big Hit, which is the, um, company that BTS is under. And I it's so good and so intense in some ways like the aesthetic of it and the way that they have the challenges set up it just it can feel a little dystopian at times but i'm so invested in all of these boys and their dreams of being k-pop idols i just want good things for so many of them i am very behind though so please don't put any spoilers for the show in the comments down below about who's been kicked off because i don't know i don't know those things but i have been loving it as far as I've watched it. I just have to catch up 
now because it's been a few weeks since I've last watched. Um, but I know BTS has been on it already. I haven't watched that episode yet and apparently they're going to be on the season finale which I'm so excited for. If you like reality competition shows, I think you should definitely check it out. It's um, definitely different from the way American competition shows are set up. So honestly, I feel like it might just be interesting for that reason alone. It's on Viki if you have that. Now, I don't always have a games section in these videos, but lately I have been playing games non-stop with friends so obviously we can't see our friends IRL right now so I'm really happy that I have like a core group of friends that we have just been getting together almost every night to hang out on discord and play various games on the switch and also a new special game that I have just become obsessed with it's called Among Us I guess it's been out for a while but I feel like it's recently had a big surge in people using it or people playing it but I feel like recently it's gotten a big surge in people playing it and it's amazing basically it's kind of like mafia you are on a spaceship and you have to as a crew figure out who the alien imposters are before the imposters kill all of you and it's just such a fun time because it's a game of persuasion and wits and like hide and seek almost a little bit and yeah, it's just, it definitely gets the heart pounding when you're like running around trying to kill people or trying to not be killed and complete all of your little tasks on the spaceship. And then of course, yelling at your friends and accusing them of murder is just a great way to spend an evening. We love a no, we love a no makeup look. <laughs> Hi Same. friends. No makeup. <laughs> We're just murdering each other and it's, it's a good time. Cool. Yeah, friends are liars. Casual Saturday night. <laughs> 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 Every time Francine is like, he's so close to her face. <laughs> <laughs> I've played it basically every night for the past couple of weeks. Um, and then for the Switch, I have been loving Clue and Uno, which sound like such basic games, but they're so fun when you like are in a Discord voice chat and playing it with people. And then of course Mario Kart, which I have been trying to get better at. I have, I'm always in last place every single time. So if any of you have Mario Kart tips, please leave them down below. I need to get better. <laughs> I just want to like shock everybody and like one day come in first place. I feel like that would be the upset of the century because uh, I am literally almost always in last. It's a sad time. <laughs> so I thought I would also take you around my room and show you some favorite decor pieces that I didn't show in my room tour and also that I just wanted to share with you all. First over here on my windowsill is this lovely Namjoon standee. I just think it's so beautiful. This is from an Etsy creator. I will link her down below. Or not Etsy, sorry, Instagram creator. Her name is Moonrose Cafe and her stuff is just so lovely. So I love my little Namjoon watching over me as I do my stuff, my work on my desk. I also love this heart-shaped mirror. I got this on Amazon and I just think it's really cute and it's great for putting makeup on. I just realized that that hat fell, so I will fix that after I film this video. Uh, but another favorite for me are definitely these art prints. These are from the artist Lovely Mine, and they are three different scenes from Ghibli films, and I just think they're so, so pretty. Lastly, I have been obsessed with this Tezza collage kit on my wall. I just think it makes this space look so much more interesting and adds a lot of good texture to the space so I've been loving just the look of this I will say some of the photos aren't my favorite like some of them are a little <laughs> I don't know like I didn't want a photo of a girl's face other than like some of the vintage ones uh, so I just didn't use those because a lot of photos come in the kit so I skipped using some of them but I love the ones that I did use I just think they're so pretty and they add such a nice pop to a space and they make mirror selfies really quite lovely. <laughs> so yeah, those are my darlings from this past season, the things that I have just been loving and have been obsessed with. I'd love to hear from you guys what some of your favorites have been, whether that's been what you've been reading, watching, eating, playing, what have you. Let me know in the comments down below. Thank you again to Anna Luisa for sponsoring this video, and I'll talk to you guys next time. Bye!